All right, I want to talk about something that's not often talked about in the coaching community, and that's coaching the top 1% or coaching that stud or that dude. I know when I first started coaching right out of uh, college and a little bit of professional baseball experience, I was almost intimidated to coach those guys, meaning that I knew that they had gifts that I did not have. They were destined to play at a higher level than I would ever play at. And I didn't want to be the guy responsible for showing them something that would mess them up, to be honest with you. And I know talking to some coaches, um, it, it's somewhat similar, their experience when they first started coaching. And it, it wasn't until I got down to USA Baseball, I was fortunate enough to coach the NTIS team in 2010, 2011, and saw what the top 1% looked like collectively. I started to understand that just because a 15-year-old is throwing 92 miles an hour, doesn't mean they know what they're doing. They're just physically gifted. They throw 92 miles an hour. Um, so whether you're coaching a, a younger team or a high school team or whatever it may be, sometimes it can be easy to ignore those one or two guys that you know are, are destined for something great because you figure that they're hitting 550, they got 10 home runs, the pitcher striking everybody out, they got it covered, and you kind of let them go. And we focus our attention on the other 99% that we feel needs the extra love. But we as coaches have to understand that just because a guy is physically gifted does not mean they know what the heck they are doing. So we need to be able to kind of check our egos a little bit, understand that as coaches, you know more than they do, right? And they're responsible for cycling that information. Don't be afraid to step in. Don't be afraid to mess up with those guys.